Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I had a happy accident the other day and I thought I would share it with you and this may not be new to you but it was new to me so I thought I would share my results. I was coffee dyeing some papers and I got some results like these which kind of look like leaves or jungle or some kind of plants but they're not plants, and I'll show you how I did this. It's very easy, you don't need a lot of supplies. Hi, Holly, that's my African gray parrot. And uh, you can get different kinds of results. Like some of them came out different. Yes, yes, Holly, I am in the kitchen with you, and we are, we are videotaping. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you're interested in getting some easy results like this, let me show you how I did it. Okay, so, I'll show you a couple more here so you can get an idea, but, um, all I did was the following. Okay, let me, let me take you over there, hang on. Sorry, this is lousy camera work. I'm in my kitchen and working with my tripod, which doesn't like me. Oh, yep, come on, stand up. <laughs> Likes to pretend it's a three-legged tripod, trying to think it's a two-legged tripod every once in a while. So if things go south, that's what happened. Okay, so basically what I do is I just take a bowl, and I was coffee dyeing, so I put some water in the bowl, not much. And I grabbed some instant coffee, just El Cheapo coffee, nothing fancy. Um, and I put some in there. That's the easiest way I like to do it. it you can do, use old coffee, but you'll get a darker, more intense color if you use instant coffee, I have found. Um, or, or you can control the darkness, shall I say. That's probably a better way to put it. Yes, you have the power. You can control the darkness. Very few areas in life we can do this. This is one of them, so let's have fun with it. All right, so, yeah, this is the hardest part. I would recommend gloves because I'm, I'm gonna try some other things with you that I've never tried, and we'll see how it goes. And um, they're gonna involve some other things that might stain your fingers. So I also put some plastic sheeting down, like painter sheeting. If you have a, a countertop you wanna protect, or you may wanna do this outside, um, also, I have some soft scrub with bleach at the ready in case I dribble it on my counter, which I know I will do. Okay, so I dampened. This is just a kitchen towel, old kitchen uh, tea towel, um, a cotton one, and I was soaking it in here, and then wring it out, wring it out. Okay, uh, coffee everywhere already. Okay, hang on. Let me get a dry one. <laughs> okay, and come on over. Let me just swing you over. Don't get seasick. No, don't do it. Okay, let me, uh, there goes that funny leg again. All right, here you go. Get over, dear. Okay, so, it's a, okay, here's the process. Highly technical. Basically, it's a rag roll, just a, like a grab and clump, clump it. Can you, am, am I in frame? No, not really. Let me adjust. I think it's easier if I move my stuff than it is if I move my, uh, so let's see what this does. Basically, it was just something like this. Okay, and the wetter it is, the more intense, or the amount of coffee in there, the more intense. Bring you up here. So maybe we want it a little wetter. And that's okay. Maybe it was a little wetter. It was a few days ago. So, all right. Yeah, I think it was a little wetter. Whoops, sorry. Knocked ya. And just flip it over. And just sort of go like this. You never know what you're gonna get. Very easy to get, uh, if you don't have stencils, if you don't have um, you know, fancy stuff to work with, but you just wanna have some cool background images, and this will also make your coffee go farther because you're using less of it per page, and if you pile them on top of each other, like I am over here, then it's gonna, um, if you get it nice and soaky, it's gonna soak through the, the, to the backside too. All right, let's get some super wet ones. That's probably where I got the more daubery ones. The daubery ones. Anybody interested in a daubery one? Sunshine, what do you think? Well, you're sniffing over there and uh, you really don't care about coffee dyeing. And mom, you have too much coffee on it now, so why don't you back off a bit? Okay, so I'm wringing out a little bit and I'm just turning it to a different side, going for a different wrinkle. I don't really think it matters, but let's just see what we get. Okay. I guess if it's too wet, they don't look like leaves. But if it's like middle wet, they look more like leaves. I, to me, they look like leaves. All right. So very easy process to do. And knock these out one after another. 
and just get some cool background images for yourself to play with. And you can turn these into signature pages, you can turn them into um, envelopes, you can turn them into journal tags. I mean, it just gives you so many, uh, uh, so many things that you can do with these things that uh, even Holly agrees. Yay, Holly, go Holly. <laughs> All right, squeeze it out one more and then we'll switch to doing something a little different. We'll try something. Now the next thing is going to be grand. Oh, you're gonna be all chatty pants, aren't you? All right, I'll, I will try and do a bribe feed and see if we can get that little, little stinker noodle, stinker doodle to pipe down. Because <laughs> he gets very excited when we're crafting and mama's talking. All right. Um, I swear I try and find his off button. I know I've said this before, he has none, apparently. Um, but, uh, you know, what can I say? We're a pair. Um, okay, so I got enough of these done for a little bit. I could just do this forever, it's easy. It's very easy. Uh, I would wear gloves. Okay, and as you can see, this is the front side and this is the back side. So you get kind of a, a print on both sides, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's try a different color. Okay, I think he's quiet now. All right, so what am I gonna do? Uh, okay, I'm going to swing you back over to the sink. Everything is so technical here. Oh my God. All right, well, I'm going to, here, I'll put that there. I don't know where else to do with it. Um, and, and you could probably do two colors on one too. Why not, right? But this one I'm going to try. This is kind of super scary. But um, I got this at the thrift store. It's, uh, let me see if you can see that. I can't really see my camera right now. Uh, chalk paint. And I thought maybe I'd put... A little bit of water in here, and this stuff seems to be very dark. So, it might be a cool charcoal gray. It might be a black. I don't know what we're going to get, but let's just pour a little. Let's just stick our finger in there. It's kind of weird, but I think it's going to dissolve in the water. Yep, yeah, seems to be dissolving in the water. All right, let's see what this technique shows us. Should I use a different one? Probably. I have a bunch of these. Um, all right, let me just use that other one. Here it is. Okay, here we got this one. All right, stir around a little bit. Wiping up my counter. It's kind of dark in here. All right, let's see what we got. It's kind of scary. I don't know what we're gonna get with this one. Ooh, there's a big glob. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, maybe we need a little more water in here. Help. All right, let's try that. So I think we need to be great or a disaster. Yeah. All right, see if we can soak it through. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Bring you back over here. We'll bring you another drying one. Hang on. Maybe have some paper towels or some old rags at the ready. Swing it over. All right. New process. Here we go. Oh, oh that looks kind of cool. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Oh, oh loving. Total loving, total excitement. I don't know how much it goes through to the back, but oh yeah, maybe not totally. It does, it does. Oh, this is so cool. Look how cool that is. I don't know if you can see it as cool as I can, but I could do, oh, that, see, there's more paint. There's like a blob. The blob is doing the, uh, the in, intense marks. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I mean, who needs stencils? Who needs fancy things? We just need a rag. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So they're all coming out a little bit different. Let me do a rolling technique. Let's see what that looks like. Oh my gosh, we're just, we're really going to town now. Look at that, look at that. It's gonna be different everywhere because we're, we're declaring it so, we're declaring it so. So I invite you to be wild and crazy in your kitchen or your garage or your outside or your patio or somewhere where it's okay to get messy and just grab some copy paper. This is just regular old copy paper. And I'm sure you could do the same with cardstock and stuff like that. I always feel like cardstock is so precious. I want to, I, I need to use my cardstock. I'm, I'm hoarding my cardstock. I need to use it. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. I'm a freaking artist. Look at that. I'm a modern artist. Look at me go. Look at that. That never existed before I came along. That is so cool. Why am I goofing around with all this other stuff? Holy macaronis. All right. We're on to something. This is good. I know this has probably already been invented by somebody much wiser than me many moons ago. I would like Leonardo da Vinci. Um, this rocks, this totally rocks. I am excited. Can I, I can't contain myself. Come on back over here. We'll try something else. Okay, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna take you on this crazy journey with me. Okay, so, well, I'm gonna dump out that because I'm afraid I'm gonna get black everywhere. Um, I thought I would try, well, you don't need that much water. Um, some, 
don't know how this is going to work. Uh, let me, can you see these? Distress ink re-inkers. This is liquid ink for the ink pads. And I'm going to put a squirt in here in the water. Not that much water. See what we get. Whoa. Okay, squirt. Okay, that's pretty, pretty purple. Let's see what happens. I don't have any purple, so uh, I thought, hey, let me get another. Let me get another one of these things. Some old dish rag that nobody loves anymore. Okay, you got lots of marks on you. Okay, you're going in. Ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think we need more water. Okay. Maybe I need more purple? I don't know. All right, let's try this. Going back over here, hold on. Hold on, okay, there we are. All right, here we go. All right, let's see the intensity here. Okay, we have a light purple, which is very pretty. I can live with that. I wonder if we want to try darker purple. We could. Whoa, that's a lot. Now, I'm too wet right now. Okay, so I'm going to wring it out a little bit. Ringing. There's like a, it seems to be a middle wetness happy place where you get, these are pretty actually, um, kind of like a, almost a lavender, which is sort of nice. We like lavender, right? That's, that's right up our alley. Take me up the alley. <laughs> I want to go to the alley. It's a good alley. <laughs> it's a happy alley. Okay. All right, just doing some backgrounds. I mean, is this like, I don't know. Is this jelly printing without the jelly? Is this, what is this? Nobody knows. It's, it's rag on paper. That's what it is. This is the great rag on paper technique for making backgrounds. Let me try and, I'm just gonna shoot another uh, thing full of purple in there to see if I can increase the intensity. And let's just see where that takes us. Okay, I'm re-dipping right here. Um, squeezing, okay. Boom, 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 okay. Okay, I think we've increased the purple level of intensity. Okay, and let's just see what this looks like. Maybe we did that, but we've also still got some brown. And can you do brown on top of the purple? Yes, you can do that. You can do multicolors. That's pretty cool. And I would say that you can knock out a few of these very quickly, and it doesn't take much supply. So if you have anything that has pigment, I'm wondering if watercolor would work, maybe, if you broke it up and dissolved it. I don't have any right at the, the hand, but this is really pretty. All right, I'm going to bring one up closer so you can see what we're getting. I mean, it isn't like something amazing, but it's, it's fun. I can, I can totally say this is fun. Um, okay, so we're doing that. We're making a mess in the kitchen today. Making a mess in the kitchen. All right, what other color do I have? I have... Uh, Ooh, here's an intense color. Uh, abandoned coral. Oh, that's scary. Um, that's going to be like an intense red. Okay, let's just dump you because I don't have enough bowls at the present. Oh, no, I got to take that. Whoop, you can't see. Let me bring you back over. Oh, yeah, you can see a little bit. Um, I am... Uh, come on, baby. I'm trying to do this with gloves, right? It's like... Uh, eh, eh. Eh, eh. Okay, hang on. I, I, I gotta grab something. Oh, here's a knife. All right. Okay. Okay, let's see if we did that. Almost stabbed myself there, but I didn't. Okay, let's, let's not do that. Let us do that. That's what we want to do. Do we do it? Goodness gracious, get the bottle open, Pam. All right. Aha, we're in. Okay. Put a little water in here. Get rid of the purple. Can you see? Can you see? All right. A little water first. I don't know. Half a cup. Three, maybe a cup. Putting a, a big squirt. Let's go for it. Oh, that's like really red. <clears throat> yeah, let's try one squirt first. Safety. Safety first, right? And this time, I'm going to try an old washcloth. Let's see what that does. That was the thing I wanted to change. All right. Let's see how much intensity we have here. All right, here we go. Let me bring you, oof, help, help. <laughs> Every time I think I have a, oh, there's a dry one. Okay. All right, man, this stuff's getting everywhere. Oh, it's messy. It's messy, people. I won't, I won't kid you. It's messy. All right, here we go. Okay, maybe it's a little too wet, Pam. Okay, first few are egg testers. And I don't know if I'm going to get a good wrinkle with this. Maybe it's the cotton that gives the good wrinkle. I don't, I'm still too wet. Let me wring out. Okay. 
ringing, retesting. Okay, getting light, light things. Let me try with more intensity, less water. So I'm putting another squirt of, you can see this, can you see this? That's the one, abandoned coral, trying the experiment with the, with the rag. All right. It's okay with this, honestly, but I think I'm gonna divert back to the cloth. So kind of like a cotton cloth, like a bed sheet would be good. Matter of fact, I think the first time I did this was with bed sheet. That's ringing a bell. Bed sheet, ringing a bell. Gotta love a good bed sheet, you know what I mean? Okay, that's too much water pan. All right, can you see? Am I, wait, am I in? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm kind of reaching around my tripod here. It's, it's like a, it's like a you know that guy that stands in front of you at the bank and you're trying to see around him or at the grocery store, you know, and you're like trying to like, excuse me, I'm just trying to get to the onions, but it's COVID. And if you would please move, you're not six feet away from me. Oh, this is really pretty. So yeah, it is. This is a flower sack kind of cotton. It's like a rough cotton. Um, I don't know what, what it is, but it's something that's thinner than a uh, washcloth. And that allows you to get more wrinkles. And it's the wrinkles that give you the interesting look. I mean, it almost looks like roses or something on here. Look at this, it's awesome, it's awesome. Yeah, very pretty. I hope that shows up on camera. Okay, so I have what? I have a couple more colors. Look, it's like little roses everywhere. Can you see that? I bet you can't see it. Let me, let me try and hold it up. Can you see the little roses? Probably not, but uh, they're there, trust me. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> Okay, let me just swing you back over here a little bit. All right, here we are. And uh, I got, I got blue. Oh, that's purple. Here's blue. You gotta open this one too. Oh, mother. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, see that does it. Muscle, oh yeah, not bad. All right. <clears throat> I still have a little muscular strength, apparently. Okay, now I do think I need a new claw. Okay, one full shot, and we'll see if that's enough. I think, test it with one. I think those are somewhere between five and seven bucks, depending on where you, you buy them. You can buy them on Amazon and all that stuff, but they're, I think they're sold everywhere, like at all the craft stores. But uh, they're in my, in my Amazon shop, if you are looking for them, or if you're just trying to see the different colors they have. They have like bajillion colors. Of this season, that season, 27 seasons ago, I think a season we're thinking about having. Um, oh, okay. Very pretty blue, very pretty, and lots of rosette style. Oh, can you see? I probably haven't moved you. Okay, am I in? Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, climbing around. R2D2 in front of me here, this uh, tripod. I've never bonded with my tripod. I've tried. My tripod seems to always win, and uh, but I do my best, and I know there are sometimes I need tripod. Yeah, I do. This is really pretty, people. I just got to say, I, I really got to say that this is nice. And it gives you, oh, look at this. Just look at this. I mean, I don't know. Can you see this? Probably not. But it's just really pretty. Oh, it's probably not showing you the good, the good. Oh, I mean, it's amazing in real life. Um, and you can make it more intense if you want. Okay, let's do that. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to squirt another whole thing of blue in there. Now we're going to see what happens. Oh my gosh, scared, scared, but excited at the same time. Boy, I hope this is recording. That would be awful, wouldn't it? Oh no, I just end up with a bunch of paper. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, here I come. Double dye dip. All right. I just, I'm trying to get show up the camera better. I even, I even, I'm crazy, but I start to see butterflies and stuff in here. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful paper. And this is so stark and easy. Anybody can do this. It will be messy. Uh, so you could use coffee, you could use tea, you could probably use spices like turmeric or I've heard like boiled onions releases a yellow color in the water and then you could use that if you wanna go super uber natural. Um, blueberries, I don't know what happens, like does it change with time? It might, but uh, this is just fun, bedazzled. This is like, yeah, I could totally do this. It doesn't take a lot of strength, easy and each one is a unique piece of art and maybe you want to go on a cross cross doodle this with the black a little bit just to do some 
you know, like, hey, oh, what if you do this? What if you hold them both at the same time? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, that's, now we're rocking. Look at that. Look at that goes cool. That's cool. All right, so let's try the pink one. All right, pink and black. All right, did I dump the pink? Or is that the pink? No, I just stuck it in the brown. Okay, brown and black, because I just stuck the pink in the brown. Yep, cross-pollinated again. It always seems to happen. <laughs> it's okay. Part of the process, I feel like one of those uh, floor artists, you know, where they just throw the paint all over the floor and then slide through it or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's uh, the depth of my art today. And it could be yours too, for the easy price of almost free or just the cost of some ink or uh, the instant coffee. You can, I know you can get at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. That one didn't come out very good because I'm not paying attention. Pay attention. Okay, but this black one. Oh my God, if you have any craft like this chalk paint, did I show you? Don't spill it, Pam. Chalk paint. Uh, this is black onyx. Yeah, that, oh, oh, yeah, mama mia, look at that. Mm, mm. Fun is to be had at amplified levels. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, so I think you get the general gist of it. But uh, yeah, and you could save these cloths for later dyeing. I mean, save them. And uh, then they can become those colors for you. Oh, just more purple. Yeah, because I'm here. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me try rolling it. Um, this crazy experiment. And here comes the thing. If you've already heard it before, please feel free to get on with your day or go listen to other, somebody else's videos, for gosh sakes. There's amazing videos out there. Go listen to Gail. Go listen to Tina. Go listen to uh, Rachel. Go listen to Lori. I mean, they're Nick. They're all amazing. But if you haven't heard my, my little jingle thing, it is, uh, if you found value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, click the notification bell to be notified of up and coming videos. Are you, is this on the screen? Yeah. And, uh, okay, whoop. And uh, my, I have an Etsy shop and an Amazon shop and a monthly emailed newsletter. Um, and I also have podcasts and all the links are down below. And uh, the newsletter is free. It's, you also get a digital image emailed monthly to you as well as uh, junk journal tips and um, you'll see my new digi kits and things like that as long as well as what else the note from the bookmaker and a long checklist of supplies to keep your eyes open for in the world as you traverse and i know you're out there traversing and you gotta just put your this could be used in a journal eyeballs glasses on and then you will be rocking so look at this like and and ooh, look at that that's cool it was i just left one of the other cloths kind of touching it and we have the ooze drip like seepage that's awesome capillary action at its best oh it's so pretty look at it it's so cool i love it okay so i hope you had fun playing and we are playing today we're kicking up our heels um remember that fun can be simple you don't have to have a lot of supplies uh just be open and run with it and remember to create with reckless abandon everybody and take care and i will see you next time Bye bye